フィリピンに来るまではも,もうちょっとこうレベルが低いかなと思ってたんですけど来てみたらちゃんとこうアクセルも踏んでるしその荷重移動っていうかまあ蹴りもでクラッチ蹴りもできるし。割とレベルは高いですね。Okay, the car belts are still not there, but the technique, based upon watching them and judging them, the level is up there. It's beyond what I expected because they could clutch kick, they could do the lines, and they use a lot of techniques that we really didn't expect to see. And、um, we're really surprised that the Filipinos put out a good show today. <laughs> For the first practice run from yesterday, a lot of people use their e brakes to initiate the drifting. But after briefing them on what we want to see, Uh, for us to judge them, we told them to clutch kick, to do this and that. They followed it, and we're surprised they did it. So it means they have techniques and the ability to keep up with some of the best in, drift, in the drifting world. Now, the level of training is to do the circuit of training. Now, the level of training is to do the circuit. タイヤ1本分ずれただけでもマイナス 0.1 点、0.2 点引かれるのでそのラインの正確さをフィリピンのドライバーが練習したらすごくいいレベルになると思います。Right now, the level is still a par, but with a lot of practices, aside from drifting in the streets, drifting in the circuits, we think since basically the judging in Japan is a bit different, if it's a little off, if you're off your line, if you're off with your angle, your speed, The judges would give you minus points. So if they keep practicing like what they did in, in a matter of one day, everyone performed well. So we believe that after a few months with them practicing hard, maybe, maybe. Okay.